location and hopefully if it goes well we'll do more hello facebook hello youtube i was just saying to our lovely friends on instagram happy new year first and foremost and so excited to be kicking off the very first instagram live of 2022 live on location so I've managed to escape my studios, escape the West Country, not in my kitchen or my bedroom. I am in the most amazing showroom for Sonia Winner Rugs. And those of you who have my Christmas magazine will have been introduced to the brilliant Sonia with an extraordinary competition. Now I should say we have just called the competition winner. We used a random number generator for the competition and he or she has been notified but we haven't had a response yet. So obviously if we do get a response during this show then we will be able to share that if they give their permission. But the winner has been selected and I'm going to be talking live to Sonia in a moment. But I thought I'd just run through some New Year bits of news, seeing as this was the first time I've been back with you since, well, since ages. We're now in a brand new year. Lots of good things happening. I do have a feel for positivity. You know, I've been asked many times, actually, what my word is. As you know, I try and choose a, a word for the year. I slightly got it wrong in 2020 because my word was joy and that was the year of lockdown, divorce and pandemic. But anyway, so don't ask me to predict trends. But I think I'm still actually considering my word. I think one of the words that I've looked at is clarity because I think hopefully we get a bit of clarity. Maybe it's renew and you can see those of you who have subscribed to the magazine uh, we'll be getting this any day. Do please let me know when yours arrives. I always love to track how long it takes for the postman to deliver it, or post lady to deliver it. And I've chosen these two words actually for the front cover. I think I shared with you a sneaky peek of the cover when I got the proof. This is the actual magazine which has now been printed. Refresh and renew. So those are two key words. Are they going to be my ultimate word? I don't know, maybe. I've written my in truth at the back. All about friendship and friends. I was out with friends last night in real life. Gosh, it was so good to be out. Um, and actually, just looking at this, I've just seen there's a lovely ad here for one of my favourite British beauty brands, Olverum. And that has reminded me to say to everybody that there is a brand new subscription gift. So if you have yet to subscribe to Liz Our Wellbeing, brilliant time to do it. Or if you'd like to give a gift subscription to somebody, because they have given us a gift. We have got 150 of these, okay? And I know they're gonna go super fast, so be quick. The Olvarium Pure Radiance Facial Oil, this is what it looks like. It's packed with really good stuff. You may have heard me talk about Bacuchiol before. Bacuchiol is a natural plant oil. It's kind of the natural plant alternative to retinol. So it's very good for helping to plump up aging skin, fine lines. This also has one of my favorite botanical oils in it, which is rosehip oil. Rosehip seed oil, amazing. Those of you who know me from my previous life in the beauty company will know that I worked a lot with rosehip seed oil. And this has a little dropper. The smell is amazing. I'm going to use it on the back of my hands. Great actually to use um, on any dry areas. You can use it on your face, obviously, for facial massage. It's a real, oh, it smells so good. Premium, premium product worth £60. Yes, six zero, sixty pounds, completely free with your subscription to Liz Our Wellbeing magazine. Now, if you have already got your subscription, but you fancy a free sixty pound oil, you could give somebody that you love a gift subscription. You still get all the discounts there. You still get, I think, it's six issues for the price of five and free UK PMP. So fabulous gift. Give the gift that gives on giving. That's what we always say because they get six issues throughout the year. Now, if you want to do that, all you have to do when you go online to order is you have to put a note in the comments box that you'd like to receive the oil yourself. Otherwise, they send it to the same person that gets the magazine, okay? So you could do that if you're feeling super generous. Um, but if you want to get the oil yourself and send the magazine to somebody else, then you need to let Warners know. They're the people who do the gift subscriptions. So either pop a note online in the comments box, or if you're going to ring them up, and what I love about Warners is they have a call center here in the UK. So you speak to somebody local, 
they're working from home or they're working from the offices, they actually pick up the phone and answer it and are lovely people. The customer service is really very good. I know lots of you have commented on that in the past, but just let them know. Okay, so if you want it sent to you, let them know and they will do their best to get it to you very quickly. Just one note on that is the oil does not come with the magazine. The magazine is sent from the printers. So if you get the oil as the free gift, it will come separately. And they normally wait, I think, until the direct debit has been set up, which is just a couple of days. So just to let you know, don't be disappointed if your magazine arrives and then you wait a little bit, a few more days for the oil. So let me see. Actually, Lainey, can you move the stand a bit closer to me? I'm just, or, or just scroll up. I just want to see some of the some of the comments coming in before we start talking to Sonia. Happy New Year. Lots of Happy New Year messages here. Paul, Joanne, Lindsay, hi, lovely to see you. Gail, Lisa, positivity, a very happy new year to all. You've got your new magazine, Joe B, brilliant. Let me know what you like. Margaret, and you've got your magazine as well, fantastic. This is a great comment from Lisa who says, let's make 22 great, absolutely. Let's make it great. Um, Angela, Isabel, Ducks to Dev, nice to see you. Balance, that's a good word isn't it? Yeah, I love all these. I'm getting lots of suggestions for words for this year. Hope. Yeah, hope. Hope, positivity. I think we can be hopeful, can't we? Lots and lots of good news. I was sharing some stuff on my Twitter feed this morning and I always try and do something positive. In fact, I've just added a new hashtag to my Twitter, which is hashtag positivity. Because I think there's just so much doom and gloom and Twitter can be especially tricky, actually. You've got to be a bit careful with twi Twitter. I'm always a bit nervous about tweeting anything because um, it can be not a very friendly space. But I thought, you know what, I am going to tweet positive stuff. I'm going to try and be a little counterbalance to some of the doom and gloom. Clarity, yeah, you like that as a word. Revive, absolutely. Health, Helen. Yeah, health, that's what we're all about, aren't we? And I've got a new video actually that's going up live on YouTube tomorrow, which is all about health and well-being and how to refresh and renew for the year ahead. And I'm sharing five or six of the key things that I always start my day with. So do please subscribe to the Lizard Wellbeing YouTube channel um, if you would like it. Oh, great, Ducks to Deb, you bought a friend the subscription for her 60th last year and she loves her magazine. Actually, that's a really good point. Before I move on, just to say that if you do buy a gift subscription for somebody else, you can choose which issue you want to start with. So you could start with the current new one for January or if, say, they've got their birthday in May, you can choose to start the issues later on. So just to let you know that, it actually is um, a very good service. Hey, who's this? Marie, I got my daughter a subscription last time the oil was on offer and I kept the oil. Excellent. It's good, isn't it? I love it. And I like the fact that it's in this really pretty little frosted glass dropper bottle. It's also really good around your nails. I don't know about you, but maybe it was too much present wrapping or sprout peeling over Christmas, but my nails have really suffered. So I use that actually as a nail oil as well as for my face as well. So let us get into today. And I have got my team on Facebook. So I think we've got Rachel. Hi, Rachel, you're on Facebook today. Um, so obviously we can't link on Instagram, but we'll answer as many comments as we can, but we can link on Facebook. Um, just a couple of comments. I am wearing, okay, I'm wearing Borken. This is another ethical, great ethical British fashion brand. We do have a Liz Loves, one of our affiliate discount codes, 15% if you use Liz Loves. I think it's just Liz Loves, isn't it? Um, actually, that gives you, let me just double check that. Yeah, oh, Liz Loves 15, excuse me, Liz Loves 1.5 gets you 15% off everything at Borken, and it's a great website. I know, Rachel, you'll pop a link up on that, but that's what I'm wearing for those of you who are asking. Right, Sonia, I think I'm going to, this is all very new for us because Lainey is going to move my camera stand back a little bit. I think that's far enough. I think maybe tweak it round just slightly. Can you go that way? Perfect. Sonia. Hello. You can come and join me in your own showroom. Hi. So nice to be here. Happy New Year Thank to you. Thank you for having us. Happy New Year. Now you can see, I think Facebook and YouTube look good. We need to be slightly um, uncomfortably close together. That's perfect. And um, I love all your colours. Thank and you. Being here, anybody actually who looked at the Liz L. Me Instagram just now will see that I filmed a little film clip of me entering Sonia's amazing showroom here up in North London. And the colour, I mean, that's what immediately hits you. Um, I mean, you just look extraordinary. I'm feeling very underdressed, really. 
<laughs> well, colour makes you feel happy. It does. And you were saying about words for this new year. Yeah. And Pantone colour of the year is purple, which is my favourite colours. Is and it? Purple is a very um, royal, uh, yeah. positive yeah. Um, colour to, to. I didn't know that. Them. I didn't know that Pantone, who are the, the makers of these, they, they do very precise colour matches, That's don't right. they? I remember, yes. you know, working in design and always you get a Pantone colour reference. Yes. Um, and so they choose a colour every year, do exactly. they? Exactly. Yes. Isn't that interesting? Yes. I so didn't know that. It's so a, a good positive colour for 2022. A strong colour. And color. you'll see it in our rugs because it's my favourite colour and it's the colour of our logo and so purple shows up everywhere for us. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. I should say thank you for this incredibly generous competition prize. Uh, we always have a really good competition in the magazine and this was the one from the last issue and obviously you can see the purple in that. That was an extraordinary rug, it's called Bubbles and I don't know if you can see it on here. Look at the, the circles all together. We'll talk a little bit about your rugs in a moment but I'm always interested to know from one female brand founder to another your journey. How did you start with all of this? I know there'll be lots of women especially watching, particularly midlife women, thinking ooh. How did you get into being this incredibly successful rug designer? Well, I was always, I trained as a graphic designer, so I was always interested in design. And um, in my early years of my career, I was a graphic designer and helping other companies design with the design of their logos, their brochures, their packaging, all this sort of thing. And then I got invited by a friend to uh, design a rug to celebrate the 40th anniversary of her uh, interior furniture shop. Right. And I designed the rug. So was that the first rug that you ever, first you ever designed? Rug. I had no idea how to do it. I was fiddling around for months and I got fed up with myself and I decided I was going to book an appointment to bring her my rug design and I was still doing it half an hour before the appointment. Oh my Showed goodness. up about 15 minutes late and said, here's my rug. Yeah. And uh, a year later, all these 40 rugs from 40 different designers and artists got made and the press loved this rug and it got an award from the Elle Decoration magazine and wow. then people started to ask me to make rugs and I was very curious about rug making because unlike most sort of businesses you don't have to hold a lot of stock because the weavers will make one or two pieces for you whereas right. most uh, products you need to have a minimum quantity of 50, 100 or 200, 300 and then that's all about shifting product all the time. Do you know that is a really interesting point for anybody starting a business and you know I know this from my background and, and experience in running different businesses the stock issue and cash flow is really hard to manage. It's, it's very difficult So to if manage. you can be in, a, in an industry where you're making something bespoke made to order then and you get a deposit presumably and then you commission the rug. Yes well we started off with having no stock, we have a little bit of stock now because mm -hmm. we sell in over 30 countries. Do you really? And so we have stock and underneath where we're sitting now is our stock room. Oh. Um, but many pieces that we make for people are um, bespoke sizes yeah. uh, or we change a few colours. Mm. Um, but we have a collection of over 40 designs. Each design is available in six different sizes. We don't always have stock of all those sizes. Yeah. But the most popular ones are current ones are Bubbles and After Matisse and our new rugs uh, which you can see I think on your video as you came in yes, which was you our can colour see. canyon and you know I mean some of these I'm just I hope you don't mind no, I'm just going to reach help yourself. you know and just look at some of these aren't they just fantastic and I the mean, design uh, concept just behind extraordinary nearly all, all these cheerful colours yes and they're designed Amazing. for showing how colours mix Mm -hmm. So I use coloured tissue papers and collages and overlap Beautiful. all the colours. So a lot of the colours you're seeing here are the result of colours overlapping one on top of the other. So you can see the mixed colours. So right. you mix this with this and you get that, this with this and you get that. So therefore it really brings up a sort of feeling of transparency, which yeah. is... Uh, brings light into a room because it's as if the colours are sitting on a light box and a light is shining from underneath them and you see how the colours blend. So I stunning. consider them as really colour stunning. experiments. Well design. I love that you have them on the wall yes. as well. I mean I think I wouldn't want to walk on one of these because they're just so beautiful. But they Certainly wouldn't want to have any you know, muddy feet. Can they? Are they, they quite really robust? Can. What, what do you use to make them with? Because I'm always interested in sort of provenance made, and yes. ingredients if you like. They're made out of uh, New Zealand wool. Mm, and uh, they're all hand dyed in uh, rural communities in India, which you can see in our book here. 
you can see how they're made. Uh, oh. This is them being oh my goodness. dyed, the colours being dyed by the dye master. So you, you send the Pantone colours across, which yes. we talked about before. Well, we actually have used a colour system called uh, Chromatone, which yeah. is uh, colours um, dyed in wool, which is slightly different to Pantone. Okay. Um, so we have about 4,000 little uh, colour tufts in wool and we send them to our weavers to match to. And the dye master who you see here is uh, can dye by eye every single color and he makes a recipe book of all the pigments. Oh, and I they're actually that. Swiss pigments, which means that they have, uh, they're quite color fast, whereas natural dyes uh, will fade and give a different mm -hmm. sort of look. So my passion is about uh, bringing really bright, vibrant, uplifting colors into people's homes. Yeah. So we need to have the Swiss colors uh, the pigments to um, to create those really vibrant colours yeah. and uh, for them to uh, have a good level of um, but, light But fast. just reading this actually, and this is another reason why it's so nice to be here and to put the spotlight on Sonia, because you say here, we're very proud to be working with some of the finest weavers in the world in the foothills of the Himalayas in Nepal. We work with weavers in rural communities using the 2,000 year old method of hand knotting on a vertical loom. And in India, our weavers hand tuft our rugs. Uh, we select our yarns for quality, mainly using New Zealand and Tibetan wool as using pure wool silk. A percentage of all our rugs made in Nepal is donated to the Helpless Children's School and Orphanage. Gosh, that's a name, isn't it? Located <laughs> in Kathmandu. And it says here that you're also a member of Good Weave, who work to end child labour in the carpet industry and offer educational opportunities to children in Nepal, India and Afghanistan and a percentage of all the rugs we make is donated to Good Weave. So I've never heard of Good Weave. Is this, yep. I mean, I'm, I'm an ambassador for various charities including Fair Trade, yep. uh, which operates in areas like gold and flowers and tea and sugar and cocoa. So is Good Weave something within the textile industry it then. is it's it specializes in working with uh, the rug making communities so it's a similar organization to fair trade but it's uh, works within the rug making communities How amazing. and they're also uh, they're also working a little bit in textiles clothing as well uh, in so recent times. if you're going to look for rugs and textiles and home furnishings and things is something like good weave do they have a mark yes that you can this is the good weave oh, let's mark. have a look i'd love to know so you can I see nothing about this the good weave mark here excellent do you see that isn't that and interesting? our rugs have good that weave. underneath so every every rug uh has uh, a, a donation goes towards rug weave, uh, yeah. good weave good weave the, yeah and then no child labour, because I think a lot of, you know, particularly you've got little hands working on little knotting and tufting, you know, traditionally in a lot of communities, even very young children who should have access to school education get kind of excluded, don't they? Exactly. But all our weavers, they get spot checked by Good Weave. Mm -hmm. So Good Weave will show up at any um, unexpected time to double check that mm. um, there aren't any children weaving. But yeah. we only work with people who are... Uh, very committed to not having child labour. Yeah. And have you been out much to India to see it? Yes, we typically were going twice a year to India, but because of COVID, things have been a bit difficult. Yeah. So we communicate electronically and WhatsApp and uh, Google Drive, Yeah, thank heavens for all of these things, yes. keeping us going. Exactly. And actually, that must have been a lifeline for them. It was. Because they can still carry on processing the orders. And I think a lot of people actually, especially during lockdown, had a new focus on their homes, didn't they? Totally. Were, I mean, we were very, were you, very were busy. busy really? We were very busy because people uh, wanted to improve their homes, making it cozy, uh, yes. segregating parts of their living room, say, for, as a work area. Mm -hmm. And a rug is a very good way of sort of um, zoning a room and right. you know, making a little uh, work area with a rug underneath it to make a cozy spot. Yeah. Um, so yes, we've, we've found that people just love these colours and they, they're they desperate for some uplifting inspiration. Cheerfulness, let's Cheerfulness talk about colour yeah. and well-being. I know that you had personally quite a difficult journey that brought you to this. How did you find setting up a business and working in this space impacted your own well-being? I think for me it's just been a lifeline to be able to be creative and to create things that other people enjoy and get the positive feedback. I mean, yeah. that for me, that's really why I do it and why I continue and enjoy it. Yeah. 
Um, you know, I just do it because I want to create things that make people happy in their homes. Mm -hmm. And every time we send something to send a product or a rug out to a client and they're, they're happy and they send us feedback, and we yeah. have a whole section on our website with about 300 testimonials and people sending us pictures of, um, oh, of have a look. yeah, it, it's, it's very, um, sort of life affirming yeah. and it makes yeah. you feel that you, you're making a little bit of a difference to people's lives. Mm. And that's what, uh, motivates me mm. to be honest. Mm. In fact, Cause you, you, I mean, you had some bad challenges in the beginning, didn't you? Yes. No, I, I, uh, when I w was asked to do the first rug, um, just before that I fell off a horse and broke my back and broke my wrist in six places. And I was con yes, and I was confined to the hospital bed for two months, and uh, it took oh almost two years to get better. But really? at that time, I used the um, designing to make me feel better, and using all these bright, vibrant colours had a big impact on me. And that's when I started to really understand that in hospitals and for rehabilitation, people use art therapy, and of it's course. really getting into a part of your brain when you're designing that. Uh, is a very relaxed state that you don't notice anything that's around yeah. you. I say I like to put on, which is so true, I put on my jazz music and I like to design late at night when everybody's asleep, there's no phone calls, there's no yeah. disruption and you just get into your zone and do your thing and you experiment and you don't know where your design's going to lead you. You start with something and you experiment, you let accidents happen mm -hmm. and you just uh, become playful with things and you, yeah. things uh, the design and the creativity just happens to you in a way mm. and then you end up with a result which is often quite unexpected but yeah. that process of being creative is uh, very therapeutic yeah. and then the result of your creativity in using colors and shapes can bring that same kind of feeling of um, uh, relaxation and um, joy from working with colors into people's homes mm. I don't know if that makes sense but it makes yeah. total sense and you know anybody who's ever picked up a paintbrush and just or even just a box of crayons and pencils and just doodled yes and, and drew I did something on this morning actually last year about being creative going outside picking up leaves coming home and just sketching and even if you're a really rubbish artist like me that the satisfaction of being absorbed in Exactly. putting something and shading it on paper you know buying a box of colored pencils can actually be such a great investment for your well-being and creating something joyful and then you know just making cards I mean I, I made gift tags for instance this Christmas because you know I just I just get annoyed if someone wants to charge me one pound fifty for a gift tag you know which yeah. just gets chucked away and, and I think actually I can draw a little holly sprig or something and for you going through I know you went through a difficult time you got divorced didn't you around yes, that time same time I got divorced I had young same children. time as breaking your back you got well a few um, months after I think it was two months after my divorce came through I broke my back oh. and my, my kids were uh, you know very young and um, but we got through it and yeah. uh, for me you know when everything life was a big challenge and I was beavering away doing my thing yeah and then when you get somebody who's received a rug and they say how much you know, it's it changed brings, them, it, yeah, yeah, it, how much joy it's brought them, that's just magic. I know, I it's feel wonderful. that. I feel that when I get good comments about the magazine and people say I've read it and you know, I love that article or I've got so much out of it. And then obviously, I mean, I work in the world of well-being and, and health and you've had your own health difficulties as mm. well. So when did that all happen? Well, after uh, I recovered from the uh, horse riding accident, uh, things started going well and then I uh, when I turned 50 I discovered um, well I was called for my 50 uh, my scan my breast cancer my breast uh, mammogram, mammogram mm. uh, when I was 50 and uh, actually a friend of mine had had a breast cancer diagnosis nine months beforehand and she told me why why don't you go get a scan I got a scan everything was clear and then I got called by the NHS and I thought there's no point in going. I, I had the all clear, and then mm. at the very last minute, I thought, oh, never mind. I'll go. It's very local, and I went, and they found something wasn't right. <gasps> so uh, that Gosh. was very fortuitous, and I had early stage uh, breast cancer, but it did result in having a mastectomy right. and quite a lot of surgery, and oh it was a bit of a goodness. nightmare. But got through. And it. you were setting up a new business. The business was already uh, fairly established. Yeah. We yeah. just. Um, 
found this as a home, but we were uh, renovating it, and it was in the middle of all that. So oh, great. everything building was project, building project, building project. Exactly. I mean, it's like uh, just pile yes, it on. You might, exactly. I, mean, I know sometimes you kind of look up to the sky and you go, right, what next? Okay. Exactly. What, what else can you throw at me? <laughs> but I think we are. I don't know whether it's you know women, but we are by nature, I think, multitaskers, and they've, they've proved that. You know, there have been scientific studies that prove that our brains, and whether it's to do with estrogen or what, I don't know, but, you know, we're so used to having to cope, perhaps, with being the caregiver in the family and organise the domestic stuff, you know, rightly or wrongly, and work, and, 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 that actually, when all these different things pile in, there is a sense of resilience sometimes. I mean, did you find that? Did you yeah, get, what did you get you... your strength from? I think you just you you just have to get keep going with it. You've got no choice. You yeah. just you just keep going. Well, especially yeah. as an entrepreneur, especially yes. when it's your business yeah. and it's you know it's you. I mean, like me, you have built a brand that's got your name on it. You know, there's no hiding, is no. there? And I take you know I take it very everything very personally, and it's very important for me that people our customers are happy and yeah. they uh, enjoy what we do. And if you know if there's ever any problem, you know I I always want it to be resolved mm -hmm. as quickly as possible how long does it take then so if somebody decides that you know that they'd love a new rug for a new year mm -hmm. and and you know maybe incorporate the color purple because it's the, the pantone color of the year how long does it take? what's the process i mean because i wouldn't know where to start if i was going to design a rug i would just be like a rabbit in headlights i mean where where do you start with something with a new design for mm. us or um well with a new design uh i usually collecting images all the time in my everyday life and on my mm -hmm. phone or sketchbooks and so forth. Mm. So then I have my sort of place of inspiration. So when it comes to design something, I go back to all my images that I've mm -hmm. collected and decide on a, a theme and, uh, and the colors that are interesting mm. me at the time. And then uh, start just playing around with things because mm -hmm. it's a, a, a process of being playful yeah. that brings out the design and you have to go through a lot of things that are not right to get to the right thing. So if somebody wanted to do a bespoke rug, because I think a lot of people come to you, don't they, thinking I'm going to design a rug or will you design a rug for me? How, how, yeah. how does that work? Generally what happens actually is that we have a collection of uh, over 40 designs, so right. people buy from our collection and yeah. we do have uh, some stock of uh, the most popular designs. So if somebody mm. wants a rug and they go to our website and they can see that it's in stock because you just have to click a size of a particular design, it will tell mm. you if the stock is there. If you buy it and it's in stock, we ship it out the next day and wow. should be in the UK, will be with you the day after. So really? that it comes that quickly. Amazing. And I should say, actually, we do have a Liz Loves. We've got an affiliate discount. Exactly. Which is fantastic. So 10% and that's from now until the end of February. That's right. Fantastic. So, yeah, if we have something in stock, it goes out immediately. And does that cover bespoke as well, if somebody wants to commission something? If you want to commission a particular size mm -hmm. or slightly different dimensions yeah. um, of a rug, that will be covered as well. Yeah. We That takes usually about 12 weeks to arrive. Because they've got to make it. They've They're got to make it from order. scratch. Right. They'll start dyeing the yarn, especially oh, for that. That's exciting. With certain designs, we can change uh, colours. A few colours right. of, or we can do a complete recoloration, but it's quite an extensive project. Yes. Yeah. So uh, there's a design fee um, involved sure, in something like that. Something really yeah. bespoke. And talking about fees, what do your rugs start at? What's the starting point? They're about, uh, I think, around seven hundred pounds for the smaller ones or right. the runners. And but they are like works of art. And when you think of all the work, I mean, I just have visions of these amazing people in India, these incredibly skilled craftsmen and women starting with great quality materials like the pure wools hand dyeing them you know all the different colors and then sitting and weaving or standing and weaving I mean look at all the little tiny stitches on the back I mean it's extraordinary and that's not coming off a machine no everything's made by hand I'm, I'm just I'm just amazed by it. I'm just gonna see if I can reach up here sorry I'm raiding your your studio here <laughs> I've got um, I mean look at these just just phenomenal. Now, for me, I have to confess, I am not a very loud, vibrant person. I mean, I'm in awe of these amazing colours that you're wearing and your jewellery. You know, you can see I'm, I'm a kind of a much more neutral, play it safe kind of person. Could I do something that is more neutral? You know, could it's I use lots of shades of beige? <laughs> or would you go, no, 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 no. Of gray. 50 shades of grey. Whoa, that would be an interesting rug, wouldn't it? What would you get up to on we that one? We do have some, some designs, like the one 
behind here. Lainey, do you have, I mean, Lainey, my lovely production assistant, she's actually here because she's been wrangling the stands. You can probably find some of the, the pastel ones. Can I see there's a, I can see there's a sort of pale greeny pastel yep, one there. That, one. Yeah, that's, that's rather lovely, looking at sort of greys and blues. That's rather beautiful, these blues as well. Yes. It reminds me that of a sort of seascape. If that one's called Aqua Teal Sea. Oh my goodness, uh, let's And have that's a look. inspired exactly by sea, sea, uh, little so waves look, lapping oh well this, oh, this is the waves lapping this, the, this, so, this, this is the waves this, this is the waves yeah. lapping look at that isn't that lovely unbelievably soft that feels like a silk that one's actually made in viscose which is art silk which is made art from wood silk. pulp yeah it's but a wood, we it's have a sustainable one, here, one isn't it which Amazing. is made this one is so made beautiful in pure silk. Love, i'd love a bath mat in this <laughs> it's very lovely this is pure silk and this is made in knotted. Oh my so goodness. So you can see the knots on the back. <gasps> and Gosh, I don't know whether you can see. Can you see the tiny, tiny, weeny knots? And you see the good weave Just label on the back. Yeah, good weave. And then you, from the front That's you see. That's really beautiful. I am so inspired. You know, I'm going to be going home looking at my carpets in a whole <laughs> new light thinking, hmm, really, really stunning. How do you clean them? The silk ones need to be professionally cleaned. However, yeah. the wool ones are very robust, and they're like yeah. having a, a woolen sweater. Oh, right. you know, okay. That you can uh, you can wash. They can take with, a bit yeah. of water. And yep, you can love do, that. My dogs who are yeah. around the corner here, they've done everything on our rugs. They <laughs> and okay. they they still look like new. You can also once a year get the professional. Um, yeah person to come in with a machine and they can do like your a, upholstery and they the can do your rugs. So, yeah. yeah and they they I look brand new. That. So this is inspired by waves lapping on the shore. Is no, that no, right? this is no. a tree trunk. Oh, this is a tree this trunk. This is a, which wow. you're seeing up on the wall uh, yeah, opposite I'm, you. Okay, so we can't turn the, the phones around. So I will take a picture of that and, and pop it on my Instagram this is later because it's this stunning. Is the, that, 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 that's the waves. That's, okay. Yeah. And then you see this. The, now we're getting more into my territory. Yeah. This is my more neutral, it is safer, neutral. safer space. And I love the way that you framed that. That's a jewel. So it's like a see. diamond cut pattern. Yeah. And it, this one has got uh, New Zealand wool in the centre uh -huh. and silk on the outside. Oh, so you've mixed the textures. Yes. And clever. that works very well, for example, under a dining room table where the wool is very easy to clean and the silk is a very luxurious border around edge. the edge. But it, the so signature style is that they have irregular edges. So each design, rather than right. the, the typical textile, would be a repeated pattern. These mm -hmm. are all graphic shapes. So they're like pieces of art. Yeah. Like well, I mean, like you, you showed actually in the magazine here, um, if I just come back to that, I, that's a really, really interesting point, is that they're not just boring rectangles or squares, yes. which presumably sort of come off a, a machine. And you know, these here, also, got the circles. you can rotate them. So each side, you know, viewpoint is very different from the other. So you've got lots of opportunities to yeah. play around when you install or Brilliant. move them around. And if you really are into your colour, I mean, look at that crazy colour fest. Just extraordinary. That's from our, that's a sample of our After Matisse rug. Which After is, Matisse. So yes. let's talk about Matisse. He was the French... Yeah, the French artist who did a lot of... Is he uh, post-impressionist? What's Or is uh, he impressionist? I always get them muddled gosh, up, Matisse. Uh, I'll ask Christina. I think I would say he's post-impressionist. Yeah. And he did a lot of work at the end of his life when he, he almost died. And then he actually had 10 years after a point where they thought there was no hope for him. Really? And at that time, he was in a wheelchair most of his... Uh, well, for those 10 years, he was pretty much in a wheelchair. And he would get his assistants to paint large sheets of paper, different colours according to his um, instruction. And then he would sit in his wheelchair and cut them out. And uh, they're known as Matisse's cutouts. Um, and he created these huge large scale artworks, one of which is called The Snail, which is in the Tate Modern. Uh, and it's, that's based on lots of squares that are in a kind of circular pattern, like at the uh, shell of a snail. But he also um, was very inspired by jazz music. So he would, so they're sort of dancing squares in a snail pattern. Sort of wow, two. and that's in the Tate Modern. That's I'm going to have to go and see yeah. that. that is, so this is, amazing came thing. out of looking at his snail, yeah. the squares. And then I've added my sort of signature colour mixing into that. And uh, that you'll see on our website with an irregular um, shaped pattern mm -hmm. all around it. Gosh. And then, I mean, these... That's our happy rug. That's a mini happy. versions of our happy rug. Love that happy. It's called happy. We need one of these. 
We need happy and, and hope that's and prism joy. And pastel. So that's a more pastel-y. This is, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting good vibes from this. But of course, our lovely colour of the year, purple. Purple Pantone. And then over there, you've got a mini sample of Alba's, which is you see behind us. You see which one? That, the this one? Yeah, so that's a little sample. So if anybody wants to feel or see them before they purchase, we can send out for free oh, you do these a mini... small, small samples oh so people goodness. can have a look at them. Uh, but there's the texture too, the fact that you put, I don't know if you can see this, but some of this is raised. Yes, they have different pile heights to uh, show how they were designed, the colours laying on top of each other. So yeah. this green was on top of the other colours. They just wouldn't want to walk on it. I mean, they are beautiful. It's nice to know they're so robust because they are just works of art. Really, really stunning. Yeah, they are. We've just had an email this morning actually from an interior designer in Ireland who's... Mm. Um, client loved her rug from two years ago so much that she wants another one exactly the same but it's worn beautifully it's very yeah. happy with it and um yeah they, they they really last a long time fantastic now tell us about some of the trade shows and things that you presumably go to what's happening this year are, are we back to back to normal do you think there's a little bit of trade shows going on I mean, we used to do uh one in new york um mm and the London Design Festival but mm -hmm. um, for us now we're a little bit more established and we have our showroom we try and do a lot more here yeah and uh, use social media and mm -hmm. invite people to come oh my goodness if you're up in North London you, you need to come in because it's it's just amazing even your loo I, lit I mean I literally <laughs> popped into the loo before coming live and took a picture of it I'll pop it on my Instagram later because just the the color and you're right it is it's so joyful it's so cheering I think you've you're, you're an inspiration now something that I want to share with you is I have brought you a bottle of to celebrate being here with our first live on location of the year this is the elderflower sec the mighty brew kombucha would you like to try it i'd love to do you know about kombucha i do i'm do you, a, do you, a big do you fan it? of are kombucha. you yes do you make absolutely. your own or do you buy it uh well my husband uh makes it sometimes oh, and does he? um and we have we've made it together at home we had some kombucha pearls somebody gave us and we had it in our airing cupboard and we were trying yeah, you, to you had yeah. the scoby yeah exactly oh, cheers, cheers to happy, choose happy new year yeah. 2020. here's to 2022 mm. oh i do love that this it's so this, very refreshing it's lovely it's it's made with real elderflowers so it's not just an extract and it's this lovely company i discovered a couple of years ago actually down in winchester called mighty brew and they make real kombucha they have the most enormous scobies, giant scobies in these huge vats. And they twice ferment it, so it's properly aged, and it's quite live, it's quite lively. And I worked with them, I forget when we did it, the first one, it must have been the beginning of the summer, and we produced this rose blush in a champagne bottle, so it's got its sort of proper dimple. And it was a, a non-alcoholic alternative to pink champagne that's actually good for your gut and good for your health. And then that was so popular, I mean, it sold out many times over that we thought for Christmas we'd do a champagne style. And of course now, if anybody's doing dry January or you're going a bit lighter this year after perhaps a bit too much over Christmas and New Year, this has been really popular. It's lovely. So What's great about it actually is that it's not too sweet because no. a lot of people put too much sugar in yeah. the bottled kombucha and it's not. So you really feel that you're actually drinking something that's fantastic for you. But it is, it's not sour either. I think some kombuchas can be too tangy, too vinegary. Yes, it's not sour at all. Because my youngest, who's 11, he loves a fizzy drink, you know, and I'm always trying to ration him and, you know, he can have like, you know, fizzy drinks on very, very um, isolated occasions. I, you know, I don't keep them in the house normally. And he loves this. I mean, he loves, there's one called Winter Chai, which he loves. And he also loves this one, the Elderflower Sec. Mm. And he's quite happy to have that in the evening now. That's um, so much better than because a fizzy it's low drink. sugar. Because yeah. although when you make kombucha, you actually, as you, you know, from having scobies, you need to feed it with a lot of sugar. Yep. And a lot of people get a bit spooked by that. They're thinking, oh my goodness, I'm putting all this sugar into kombucha. But what happens over the 12, 14 weeks or so that it can take to, to do a double ferment is your scoby is digesting all that sugar. Ah, and okay. living on the sugar and that's what it uses as food to create the probiotic beneficial mm -hmm. bacteria that we then ingest when we drink it so by the time you actually drink a properly brewed kombucha it's very very low sugar so because that's the, the microbes have, have done all the work so when it's double fermented you get a lot less sugar is that right mm. 
I don't know, but that would be uh, that would be a good theory. The reason that Mighty Brew double ferment with this this is a heritage one, so I, I think they might do a single ferment as well as a double ferment. I can't remember. Um, they start with the basic fermentation, which is the black tea and the sugar, mm -hmm. and that's what gets it going, and that's what you normally do at home. They then transfer it to a different vat, mm -hmm. another great big scoby, and then they add in the botanicals. So mm -hmm. for the pink one, we added organic rose petals and raspberries, organic raspberries. And I mean, literally, these are the actual extracts, the, the, the proper thing. They're not just drops of synthetic flavouring. Um, or with this one, this is elderflower and, and some other botanicals. So, yeah, it's... Um, I it's love it. I finished it. I need you finished it? Yeah. <laughs> can I have some more? Of course you can have some I love more. It. I'm delighted. Yeah. And actually, before we go, I just wanted to say a big thank you to your husband, um, you. who is has this amazing food and deli service. I've just followed them actually on Instagram, called Panzers. Look at this. This was a little snack box that Sonia had delivered. Um, before our live today and he supplies people like Ottolenghi is that That's right, right. He, su he supplies a lot of restaurants and places Just like beautiful. Ottolenghi and then they have pans as the shop itself where they have a smoked salmon uh, they can cut the smoked salmon for you they have a sushi bar they have a coffee bar and they import fruit and vegetables here and they make Amazing. the hummuses and, and, look, and you've got the little little teeny baby courgettes and little tiny patty pan squashes and what are these like little tiny weeny bagel things and guacamole and hummus and there's a like a cauliflower dip pistachios avocados with these little pretty edible flowers just stunning and so he would you know you can order these can you and they, they, yes, they, they, they have hampers them. and uh, boxes like this they're great for um if you're yeah. having a uh, work lunch in the office yeah really healthy oh my goodness over. this is seriously going to be they can deliver all over the uk can they really yeah. Well, okay, sounds like my next ride's going to have to be at Panzer's Deli, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Sonia, it's been such a pleasure. Thank you so much, Liz. I am so excited, and it's so lovely to be actually out and about, it, you know, with real people, being able to be out here and bring so much more of a brand to life, because, and we can actually do it sitting you know, reasonably close together, which is yeah, good. It's so you can see it's kind of worked, hasn't it? As long as I've got the lovely lady behind the scenes, <laughs> you can move the stand in and out. Thank you. Thank you very much for the competition prize. It's a pleasure. So I think our winner will be announcing on Monday if they give their permission for that to be shared. Um, just before I go, just to remind you, this I've just seen uh, on my notes is already going very, very quickly. So uh, not surprisingly, because the Olverum, which is the facial oil with the Bacucci oil and the rose hip and all sorts of other amazingly good ingredients, and I love it, absolutely love it for my face and my nails and my hands, 60 pounds value, okay, if you go and buy this, six, six, six zero, 60 pounds free with the subscription to Liz Our Wellbeing magazine, and that's still a deal, because you're still getting six issues for the price of five with free UK PMP and all of that. Um, don't forget, if you are giving this to somebody, if you're giving them a gift subscription, then you just need to let Warners know that you would like the oil, okay? Otherwise, they send it to the recipient of the magazine, which might be great. I mean, why not give one to them and one for yourself as well, if you fancy. Um, but you just need to let Warners know, okay? Otherwise, they send the oil to the same person that gets the magazine. So you either put that in the notes online if you go online and order and I know Rachel on Facebook you'll pop a link up won't you my love um, or if you call them if you call Warners by phone then you just need to tell them that you'd like to get the oil separately and the oil comes separately so it doesn't come at the same time as the magazine it comes a little while after anyway that is it for today thank you very much for all your comments thank you oh well-being angel has just subscribed excellent mm -hmm. <laughs> very very good um, you are letterbox watching, waiting for your magazine. I hope it arrives very soon. It should do. I mean, obviously, we can't tell the different regions of the post, but um, that's so great. Our well-being angel says, I love the mix of interiors and well-being, as our environments are so important too. Absolutely right. And on that note, thank you. Say goodbye. Thank you. Lovely, lovely to be here. Thank you again for the discount. Don't forget, if you are interested... Uh, do head over to Sonia Winner Rugs, take a look at the website and you can use Liz Loves, which is the affiliate discount code for 10% off 
all her amazing designs between now and the end of February. So YouTube going up tomorrow, Liz Our Wellbeing, if you want to see a brand new film. Friday 5, great podcast, good episode coming out on Friday, so please don't miss that. Make sure that you're subscribed to the Liz Our Wellbeing newsletter, lots of great things for the weekend in that. And I will be back live on IGTV on Liz Our Wellbeing, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube on Monday. So until then, have a great rest of the week. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.